The 13th National People's Congress started its second plenary meeting Tuesday morning. President Xi Jinping and other Chinese officials attended the meeting at the Great Heart of the People in Beijing. Li Zhanshu, chairman of the MPC Standing Committee, delivered a work report of the MPC Standing Committee. Li looked back on the work achievements of the Standing Committee in 2021. We formulated the law on countering foreign sanctions to improve the legal system for opposing foreign sanctions, interference, and long-arm jurisdiction. According to this law, in order to resolutely defend China's sovereignty, security, and development interests, and resolutely safeguard the lawful rights and the interests of its citizens and organizations, China has the right to take proportional countermeasures in response to any country's acts of any form or under any pretense that interfere in China's internal affairs or harm its national interests of its citizens and organizations. He also introduced work targets for this year and specifically emphasized the further building of whole process people's democracy. We advance the whole process people's democracy in every aspect and throughout the entire process of our legislative oversight and deputy-related work. We improve the NPC's democratic platforms and vehicles through which the general public can express opinions. Lawmakers also heard the work report of the Supreme People's Court delivered by its president Zhou Qiang and the work report of the Supreme People's Procuratorate delivered by Procurator General Zhang Jun. On the sidelines of the second plenary meeting, some MPC deputies and ministers of science and technology, industry and information technology, as well as water resources, took part in the online interviews. They answered questions on scientific and technological innovation, the building of the national cybersecurity capacity, investment in key water conservancy projects, and some other topics related to people's immediate concerns. Tambo, CGTN, Beijing.